People are about to go back to the moon for the first time in 50 years. It isn't just a race to get there, but a whole new era of lunar exploration and exploitation. We will shortly see people walking on the moon again, mining precious resources and setting up lasting bases on the dusty grey world. Here are some key milestones in our history with the moon. After several failed attempts, the Soviet Union's Luna 2 probe was the first object to reach the surface of the moon, crashing into it in 1959. The first US mission to land on the moon was Ranger 7 in 1964. Then, two years later, the US sent an uncrewed lander, Surveyor 1, that gathered data about the lunar surface needed for the Apollo missions. 1968 saw Zond-5, a Soviet Union probe, venture into space carrying two live tortoises, flies and plants. It circled the moon twice before delivering the living things safely back to Earth. July 1969, Apollo 11. Neil Armstrong becomes the first person to walk on the moon. And following on in November of the same year, Apollo 12. A similar trip with astronauts Charles Conrad and Alan Bean. In 1970, the Soviet Union put the first robotic rover on the moon, Luna 17. Apollo 14 was a crewed mission to a more mountainous area. Apollo 15 was the first mission to use a lunar rover vehicle to explore the surface. And on Apollo 16, astronauts spent almost three days on the surface, doing science and exploring. Apollo 17, Gene Cernan walks on the surface, the last person to do so. In the 80s, there were no moon missions launched. Then, Japan launched its first space probe, Hitten. It orbited the Earth and Moon for three years before being crashed into the lunar surface. In 2003, Europe launched Smart One. This probe orbited the Moon for three years. China launched Chang'e 1, a lunar orbiter that conducted the first microwave imaging of the Moon. India became the fourth nation to reach the Moon in 2008. Chandrayaan-1 was a mission that included an orbiter and lander. The orbiter made high-resolution maps of the Moon's mineral composition. As the US began to think about returning to the Moon, they launched the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter in 2009. It created high-resolution maps of the surface in order to aid future missions. 2010 saw Chang'e 2 launched from China, a similar mission to Chang'e 1, laying the groundwork for future missions. And in 2013, China sent Chang'e 3, a robotic lander accompanied by a rover called U2. In January of 2019, Chang'e 4 made the first ever landing on the side of the moon that is always facing away from Earth. 2019 also saw a private company crash land on the moon. Bereshit from company Space IL was carrying notoriously hardy creatures called tardigrades. We have since learned that they would have been crushed on impact. Chang'e 5 reached the moon in 2020, a lander that collected samples of moon rock before returning them to Earth. This was the first sample return mission to the moon since the Apollo era. South Korea launched a mission, Denuri, in August of 2022 that plans to image the moon using polarised light. And while the first attempts to launch Artemis 1 may have failed, the US recently launched a lunar orbiter to test the stability of the planned orbit for the Gateway space station around the moon. As for the future, the next phase of lunar exploration is fundamentally different from what has come before, both in terms of ambition and the rationale for going up there, with many nations and private companies involved. The pace of exploration has ramped up yet again. <laughs>